In this podcast episode, the discussion centers around the recent conviction of Donald Trump on felony charges in New York City. Shapiro argues that the case against Trump was weak and politically motivated, orchestrated by individuals within the Democratic Party and the media who wished to psychologically torture him. The charges were based on allegations that Trump falsified business records in 2017 to cover up payments to Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal in 2016. Shapiro criticizes the prosecutor, Alvin Bragg, and the judge, Juan Mihan, for their bias against Trump and their efforts to secure a conviction at all costs. Shapiro highlights the hypocrisy of Democrats, particularly Joe Biden, who have a history of corruption and abuse of power. He points out Biden's involvement in enriching his family members, including his son, Hunter Biden, who is currently facing federal gun charges. Despite Biden's own questionable actions, he has been vocal in condemning Trump and questioning the legitimacy of the justice system. Shapiro argues that Biden and the left have undermined American institutions and used their historical legitimacy as a cover for their nefarious actions. Shapiro discusses the concept of gaslighting, where individuals are manipulated into doubting their own perceptions and reality. He argues that Biden and the media are gaslighting the public by portraying Trump as a threat to democracy while engaging in corrupt practices themselves. He points out the projection by Biden and the left, who accuse Trump of undermining the rule of law while engaging in similar behavior themselves. He highlights Biden's attempts to circumvent legal processes and manipulate institutions for his own benefit. Shapiro criticizes Biden's response to Trump's conviction, where he claims that the rule of law was reaffirmed. He argues that the justice system has been manipulated to target Trump and that questioning the verdict is not undermining democracy, but rather exposing the corruption within the system. He points out the irony of Biden's statements, given his own history of evading legal scrutiny and abusing his power. Shapiro discusses the impact of Trump's conviction on American politics and public opinion. He notes that despite the verdict, Trump's poll numbers have not significantly changed, with many Republicans believing that he was treated unfairly. He argues that the constant attacks on Trump by Democrats only serve to make him appear more resilient and immune to criticism. He emphasizes that Trump's reputation as a mud monster means that attempts to smear him with more allegations only reinforce his image as a political outsider. Shapiro highlights the fundraising success of the Trump campaign following the conviction, indicating strong support among his base. He argues that the lack of a significant shift in public opinion demonstrates the deep polarization and distrust in American institutions. He warns that the gaslighting and projection by Biden and the left are contributing to the erosion of social fabric and institutional legitimacy in the country. Shapiro also addresses the media's role in shaping public perception of Trump's legal troubles. He points out the hypocrisy of mainstream media outlets, such as the New York Times, which portray Trump as a toxic figure while ignoring the flaws in the Biden administration. He highlights the double standards in coverage and emphasizes the need for a fair and unbiased media. The podcast delves into the reactions of various political figures to Trump's conviction. Shapiro criticizes individuals like Adam Schiff, Maxine Waters, and James Comey for their partisan agendas and attempts to undermine Trump. He highlights their lack of credibility and questions their motives in calling for Trump's imprisonment. Shapiro also discusses the potential implications of Trump's legal troubles on the upcoming election. He argues that the focus should be on the failures of the Biden administration rather than Trump's personal legal issues. He emphasizes the importance of addressing key issues like inflation and economic policies that directly impact the American people. In response to his conviction, Trump expresses his willingness to appeal the decision and challenges the fairness of the trial. He acknowledges the possibility of facing house arrest or jail time, but questions whether the public would accept such a verdict. He remains confident in his ability to bring the country together through successful leadership, citing his previous accomplishments before the COVID-19 pandemic. Shapiro criticizes the Biden administration for its handling of various issues, including the economy, international relations, and social policies. 
He highlights the contrast between the first three years of Donald Trump's presidency, which he describes as a period of good governance with some weird rhetoric, and the current state of affairs under Joe Biden, which he characterizes as a flaming trash heap. He argues that Biden's presidency has been marked by incompetence and poor decision-making, leading to negative consequences both domestically and internationally. Shapiro discusses the significance of Pride Month and the increasing visibility of LGBTQ plus individuals in different aspects of society. He mentions the Defense Department's tweet in support of Pride Month and criticizes the focus on social issues over more pressing matters. He also comments on the presence of LGBTQ plus themes in children's television and social media, pointing out the influence of progressive ideologies in shaping cultural norms. Shapiro delves into the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas, highlighting Biden's involvement in proposing a ceasefire plan that he claims Israel never offered. He accuses Biden of lying and manipulating the situation to pressure the Israeli government, particularly Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, to accept a deal that would leave Hamas in control of the Gaza Strip. He emphasizes the importance of achieving total victory against Hamas and criticizes Biden for prioritizing political agendas over the safety and security of Israeli citizens. Shapiro discusses the implications of OPEC's decision to extend production curbs and raise oil prices, signaling a lack of confidence in the Biden administration's policies. He suggests that countries like Saudi Arabia are seeking a change in leadership in the United States as they perceive Biden as a threat to their interests. He also touches on China's efforts to ease tensions with the U.S. and the potential impact on global relations.